Hello, I'm Prasad and welcome in the series of AWS Solution Architect Certification Exam. So let's jump on the question. Uh, prediction process requires access to a trend model that is stored in an Amazon S3 bucket. The process takes a few seconds to process an image and make a prediction. The process takes a few seconds to process an image and make a prediction. The process is not overly uh, resource intensive, does not require any specialized hardware and take less than 512 MB of the memory to run. What would be the most effective compute solution for this use case? So let's jump on the main points provided in the question. So rather than going with all these details, just mark the main main hint point. The process take a few seconds to process an image and make a prediction. The process is not very resource intensive, does not require any specialized hardware and take less than 512 MB to run. So thing is like that here the process itself is not taking very long time and uh, it doesn't require any kind of specialized hardware and not the resource intensive so here the question is asking that what would be the most cost effective compute solution so here we need to think about that any AWS service is fulfilling all this requirement and that is the most cost effective so let's talk about the Amazon ECS. So Amazon ECS here, we need to think about that uh, how much GB RAM, how many CPUs and what kind of operating system we need. So here it is coming as a specialized hardware requirement, but it is trying to say like that um, does not require any kind of uh, specialized hardware. And one more thing, Amazon ECS uh, is not cost effective. It will be on demand basis. It will charge you early basis. And then you are having spot instances, then reserved instances, but uh, you had to um, you have to pay the money for the Amazon ECS and uh, so that is the wrong answer here Amazon ECS is very very useful when it is very resource intensive and you are sure that I must need uh, 12 GB 14 GB 13 GB kind of uh, memory but here it is trying to select that only 512 of memory is enough to run this application Amazon ec 2 spot, spot instances can be cheaper but uh, here again you need to go with the specialized hardware requirement and uh, 512 MB memory is very very less and in this condition you should not use such kind of expensive instances. Spot instances also having drawback that uh, it can be terminated at any time. AWS Lambda function yes of course. So AWS Lambda is uh, like uh, uh, it is very very good if suppose uh, <coughs> You don't need any specialized hardware, it is not resource intensive as well as uh, just in the few seconds if it is taking then you can have your uh, business logic into the AWS uh, Lambda functions and uh, it will fulfill your request. Only problem is that uh, it, it takes less than 512 MB to run. But the problem with the Lambda function is that uh, you need to create the multiple layer like uh, if third party API you are using then uh, it is required for you to uh, use the same memory whatever has been provided the lambda function and at the final stage you will come to know that uh, there is not enough memory to run your business logic so lambda function is not good but it is like 100 200 300 kind of uh, uh, memory is required then and and it is uh, a third party library is also required then go ahead with the aws lambda function otherwise uh, it is not a good uh, approach to use such kind of services Last is the AWS Elastic Bean Stake. So Elastic Bean Stake is uh, like bring your code and uh, you can run it by using the AWS Elastic Bean Stake. You no need to worry about uh, hardware information, resource intensive, as well as uh, you no need to think about the container. You are you no need to manage itself the container. Even if you are having Java application and running in Tomcat, you no need to worry about that maintaining the container. You can just bring your code and uh, AWS Elastic Bean Stack is sufficient to uh, build your code and run it and it is 512 MB is uh, not that much and it will be useful to use the Elastic Bean Stack in, this, in that scenario. So these are the main features of uh, AWS Bean Stack. AWS Elastic Bean Stack is an AWS managed service which is easy to use for deploying and scaling web application. AWS BNS Stack service can be deployed in Java, .NET, PHP and other languages as well. You no need to bother about managing uh, 
so here the main word is coming like managing the hardware simply you can upload your code and elastic bin stack automatically handle so here it was mentioned like that does not require any specialized hardware so you no need to think about the managing the hardware and simply you can upload your code in elastic bean elastic bean stack automatically handle the deployment from the capacity provisioning load balancing auto scaling to application health monitoring at the same time you retain the full control over the aws resource powering your application and can access the underlying resource at any time there is no additional charge for elastic bean stack you pay only for the aws resource needed to store run run your application so here it is talking about the most cost effective compute solution does not require any specialized hardware and uh, you need to run in the 500 mb uh, of memory so aws bin stock fulfill all this requirement you no need to worry about your hardware you no need to worry about your container as well as it provide the auto scaling so here it is mentioned like that uh, to train the model that is stored into the amazon s3 bucket so the process take a few seconds to process an image and make a prediction so here whatever the code is uh, written by the developer just bringing to the bean stake and it will automatically deploy and uh, with the most cost effectively you can achieve uh, this scenario thanks a lot